lows. Rich is like Chris, cut the young stones. Lil' baby lit, I'ma take her home. Pants on chill. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on post notification, and welcome. <laughs> if you're not new, welcome back. Anyway, this video is going to be my recent pickups slash sheen haul slash what I got for Christmas slash everything. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with this video. So first, we're going to start off with skincare slash um face slash facial accessories so um my first pickup is this snail mucin I guess is how you say it. this toner that's what this is this was $5.99 at TJ Maxx next I got this um squalane I don't know but I picked this up from um where did I pick this up Sephora. I put this in my travel bag, which I also got from TJ Maxx. It's $10 for this bag. Simple. I'm not even gonna try to say that word because I'm gonna demolish it. But this is what it is. The facial mask. Next, I have these two champagne toasts. Um, this is a um, lip scrub and this is the lip mask. I don't even know how you work this, but Shout out to my girlfriend. For the next thing I picked up, I actually just picked this up today. It is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. These words sound so, I don't know. Next, I have this Aztec. This is what it is, the Aztec Clay Mask. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok try this, so I picked this up at the hair store. I picked up these Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic acid. Uh, cleansing wipes. That's what this is. Now we're gonna start. Now we're gonna move on to like makeup. So I picked up this Morphe Coconut Bliss setting spray. I heard so many good things about this. It smells amazing. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next, I got these two NK Perfection. Finishing powder. This is in the shade Buttercup. Got this one in the shade Banana. Oh, and for makeup, I picked up some new brushes. Um, this was $3.99. TJ Maxx. You know, the prices vary because these are $3.99. And then I think, well, I guess all of them are $3.99 because there were some that was like $5.99 and all of that. But I just picked up five. I had to get the accessories for the face, which glasses. So I like to wear like, sometimes I wear blue light glasses. I picked up these, y'all, these I took from my, my cousins, my little cousin. I took both of her black and white. And then these, these are so, like, y'all can't tell me. I picked these up from Sheen. I didn't even pick these up, I ordered them. And then here is these. Off Sheen, I also got this um, Distress Beanie. Okay. I picked these up from um, Burlington. They're so cute, like, I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all, they look like they're so bulky and everything, but when you put them on your feet, they actually, mm-hmm. And I don't think I'm gonna keep these two charms on there. I'm gonna bling these out. Cause yeah, I don't like this heart, this in this heart, no. These Steve Madden's, y'all, I saw these in Dillard's. They had the black, they had pink, they have um, the green ones, the green, the white ones with the green lace, and they had the pink and silver with the pink and I'm not even trying to wear pink and all those loud colors anymore, just like black, white, gray, and like neutral colors that I can style my accessories with. But the pink ones, they were catching my eye. I was like, I'm about to risk it. So my girlfriend actually got the pink ones, and she just got, I got my girlfriend the pink ones for her birthday and she got me these for Christmas. 
so. Next, we're going to go on to clothes. My hair itching, y'all. And like, my hair just need to be done. Okay. Um, From Sheen, I got this Atlantis shirt. It's just, here's the details, because I'm not linking shit in the description. I'm just being honest. The material is very good. Like, you can find this in the men's section. This is where I, I literally only shop in the men's. I'm lying. I love shopping in the men's more than I shop in the women's. I don't care. Like, if I'm going to a clothing store, I'm going to go to the men's first. So, yeah, because I can't fit women pants unless I get, like, a large or extra large. Because I am tall, I am 5'10", and women pants just don't seem to go all the way down to my ankles. And I'm not going to be high water. So, next thing that I got from Sheen says challenges is just this, like, muscle tank. Next is this, um, this shirt, like a little oversized, but not a little too snug. This shirt, this is a compression shirt, so it's a different subject, but, um, this shirt, it just say time to stay, and then on the back, it just say seek. This shirt gives me polyester vibes. No. This shirt gives me stretchy vibes, like it's. It's scratchy, duh. And it's just like, it gives me jersey type vibe. I picked up this. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but that's the shirt. I got this from Plato's Closet. It was maybe like $10. This is what it looks like. Next, I picked up this vest from Plato's Closet, even though I really didn't need it, but it was $8, so I picked it up anyway. Uh, then I picked up this Fashion Nova Distressed Sweater, y'all. Don't even talk about it. It looks good. It's just on its hanger, and it it can't really hang that well. But I also got this from um, Play-Doh's Closet for about, I don't know. <laughs> this jean jacket from Play-Doh's Closet. Fashion Nova, guys. I paid like, hmm, I paid maybe $20 for this. So, it just says, Fashion Tour, Paris, New York, London, Milano, and Backstage. I thought this was a really good find. I thought this was, oh, y'all saw this in my last video. Hmm? Because I just picked this up. Duh. Next is this, um, <laughs> turtleneck bodysuit. It's not, oh, it is a bodysuit. Nothing too major. It's just a turtleneck. A turtleneck. Another one of the shirts that I'm wearing, it's literally, I bought two. And the tag were irritating me, so I, I kind of smashed the tag out. But it's okay, because this tag is still on. That's how I know the difference between this shirt. Have I worn this shirt or did I wear the other one? I got this big ass. Um, um, puffer vest. I don't know where the hell I got this from, but it's so big, like y'all. It's a, a medium. It's a men's medium, but it it's like a dress on me. I got me this originals. Um, um, what the hell is this called? Sweatshirt. She got me this originals sweatshirt. I love this sweatshirt because it reminds me of essentials. But she got this from Burlington, so it was maybe like $7. No, I'm lying. It was like 12 Next, I have this. I don't even know why I have this brown piece of clothing on my rack full of black clothes. Even though I have this and a white, you know. But still, you get the vibe. This $8. New York, Los Angeles, and London, Paris. That's all it says. Really nice, I'm telling you. Next, I have this Columbia puffer jacket. Y'all also saw this in my last video. This was like, I'm like, I don't know how much this jean jacket was. Cause I know this Columbia jacket was like, I don't know, man. I think this was 25. But it's it's Columbia and it's a puffer, so I'm willing to pay 
$25. I got this from Plato's Closet, by the way. If you don't have a Plato's Closet in your city, <laughs> go to your next local one. I don't care if you have to drive. 40 minutes away, Plato's Closet is definitely, definitely worth the drive. I'm telling you, they have Sheen clothes, Fashion Nova clothes, Zara, American Eagle. They have all the name brand type clothes for the cheap ski. They literally had dunks in there, but I couldn't fit the size because it was a size five and I wear a size eight. So they have dunks, Uggs, Air Max, Jordans, everything. Literally, they have Michael Kors. I'm telling you, Plato's Closet is just that girl. Only thing about Plato's Closet is I, you can sell your clothes to them, but they just give you the bare minimum for your clothes. Like, you can go in there with this, um, you probably can go in there with some fucking Ricks and they might give you $20 for them. What the thing is this individuality shirt? This is a medium, but honestly, it kind of looks a little, a little big. Next, I got these two pants off Sheen. Um, this is just, I really didn't want to take this off the hanger, but it's okay. These are some, um, what the, leather pants. Then I got these, um, this, um, what is this? <laughs> this skirt. You can unbutton it and then, but, Y'all, I don't even know if I'm gonna wear this. Cause this is a little out of my comfort zone. I've never wore anything like this. And then honestly, I'm tall. So these are kind of like, they're coochie shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to show you guys for shoes. I also picked up these <laughs> not Converse's from Marshalls. They look like Converse's. They're just low top and they're all white. As you can see, I did wear these. Cause I wore these one time. Because I just got them a couple days ago and already wore them once. This, y'all, I've never had so much skin out in my life. This has never been me. I have never been the type to wear tube tops and all that because I am very much a tomboy. So, it never crossed my mind to like purchase this. But, this is from Sheen Icon. This is a size, um, you don't say y'all it's like and in their skin out there and i think my stomach is like too big for that like look like i am i'm not even gonna talk about that but hopefully by the summertime i can be able to hop in this bad boy as you can see it's a lot of black and white and all of that i just feel like black goes with everything it's easy to style all of that and so that's why I kind of got it. So like my accessories can bring a little color to it. Like I can have black and then pair it with orange. I can have black paired with red. I can have black paired with pink. All of that. So that's why I kind of like got black clothes. So my shoes and my, um, I don't even wear purses. Honestly, I have not worn this yet. My girlfriend got me this coach backpack. I have not worn that yet. And then I have this Calvin Klein purse. My cousin actually left this. Good morning. My other cousin gave me this Sheen bag. I wore this. I only wear this honestly when my period is on. And that was to hold like my pad and all that. That was it. But now that I got the um thingy right there, I just use that point blank. But I love me some hats as y'all can see. Like I got maybe like 10 hats up there. But I love my Michael Kors bag to the core, to the T, to the everything. It was not giving. Like, I was about to rip it. That's how heavy my MacBook and my iPad is. So, I was definitely not about to take the risk for my Michael Kors backpack. This is for last Christmas. The 2022 Christmas. I just love that bag so much. But yeah, that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed watching this type of video please comment down below also subscribe you made it to the end so why not go ahead and subscribe anyways bye y'all